This is an amazing new app in Microsoft 365 for work management and tracking. Today I'm going to show you how this can help you get things done faster by structuring, visualizing and sharing project data. We'll look at the cool new features in lists and why you're probably using the wrong tool for work management. What is work management? Work management is about the process you use to get from A to B. Or in other words, how you manage the information for a project to help you produce the final outcome. Many lists apps like To Do and Planner focus on task management and not work management. So if you want to manage your work, it's important that you choose the right tool. I'm going to be creating a series of videos on Microsoft Lists with things like how you can add a button to a list to move items from one list to another using Power Automate and how you can create zero code business apps using your list as the data source using an application called Power Apps. So subscribe to the channel to make sure that you get notified about the upcoming videos in this series. And don't forget to like the video if you find it useful and leave me a comment if you'd like me to cover anything specific about Microsoft Lists in the future. So what exactly is Microsoft Lists? Well, we already know that it's a work management and tracking tool and that it allows you to structure, visualize and share data across the life cycle and status and ownership of your project. Microsoft created Lists to compete with products like Monday.com and Airtable. And this is an evolution of SharePoint lists. So it's designed to make people already using SharePoint lists even more productive. And those that aren't, it makes it easier for you to get started with lists in Microsoft 365. A list is a table of data similar to a spreadsheet. Some examples of how you might use lists. You might use a list to create an issue tracker, to track the progress of an issue across its entire life cycle, maybe to create an event itinerary for a conference to track who is speaking, when and in what room, or to create an asset tracker so you can track who is assigned a particular piece of hardware, what the repair status is, and the check-in, check-out status, for instance. Lists is a new app in the Microsoft 365 launcher and it integrates with Teams and other Microsoft 365 applications. It also integrates with Power Automate and Power Apps and there's currently an iOS app for Lists and Microsoft is in the process of developing an app for Android. But how is Lists different from other Lists applications in Microsoft 365? It's important here to distinguish between task management and work management, as I said earlier. So for instance, Todo is a task management system for individuals and Planner is a task management system for Teams. And Tasks, the task application in Teams, aggregates tasks from Todo, Planner and other Microsoft 365 apps. But again, it's a task management application. Probably the most interesting comparison is with Excel because Lists and Excel both work by using a table of data. But Excel is better used in situations where you want to analyze information in individual cells. And this is better used when you need to visualize information and the focus is on the entire row of data rather than an individual cell. So what can you do with Microsoft Lists? Well, of course, you can create a blank list or you can create lists from one of the predefined templates. For instance, if you want to create a, an event itinerary or an asset tracker, you can also import data from existing Excel spreadsheets and use that data to create your own lists. Additionally, you can use any of your existing Microsoft free lists if you want to copy their structure, formatting and rules. Once you've created a list, just like any other Microsoft 365 app, you can share that list and collaborate on the list with other people. You can visualize your data, of course, as just a simple list, 
or you can also switch to gallery view which allows you to visualize each item in the list as a card or sometimes Microsoft refers to it as a tile. And this is really useful in situations where you have maybe an image that needs to be at the forefront of the information for each item in a list. Microsoft includes a tile designer so you can design exactly how your card is going to look. You can also view your list as an event calendar. One of the collaboration features in lists is that it allows you to add comments and you can even mention people so that they receive a notification in a comment. So you might put at Russell for instance and I will be notified about any comment that you make on a list. You can add rules to a list so that somebody is notified by email in situations maybe where an item is added to a list or a particular column is changed in an item. Custom forms allow you to add visuals like headers and footers. You can add conditional formulas so that certain fields only appear under certain circumstances and you can also add conditional formatting. So you've got lots of control over how your forms look. Of course, there's really good integration with Teams, so everything that you can do in the Lists app, you can also do in Teams. And every item in a list can also have its own designated conversation in Teams. So there's really great integration with that place where most people are working these days. And as I've mentioned before, if you want to be a bit more adventurous and go beyond the basic feature set, you can always create your own apps based on lists using Power Apps or you can create more complex workflows using Power Automate. So as you can see, this is a really powerful application and I'm really excited to bring some more videos on this topic in the coming weeks. So if you want to see those videos, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to make sure that you get alerted when those videos are published. If you liked today's video, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you think of Microsoft Lists and whether there's anything specific you'd like me to cover on Lists in the upcoming series.